Today I'm going to show you how to get the Fallen Sea Dog Lantern, Lissetti Spyglass, and the Fallen Sea Dog Commendation. And solve the mystery. Alright, first things first, if you did not know, a while ago, DeMarco was mysteriously murdered. We were trying to figure out who the heck murdered him for the last couple months, and as of yesterday when this video goes up, we have solved the mystery. Okay, so first off, the Fallen Sea Dog Lantern, which isn't necessary for this, but I'm going to tell you where it is. If you go to Sea Dog's Rest and then swim off the east coast following the red shell, you'll find a box in the sand. Use the reach prompt, and then you'll get the Fallen Sea Dog Lantern, which I'm like 95% sure is still obtainable. Actually, a lot of you told me it was still obtainable, so it, it's, it's still obtainable. Second, this one you actually will need. Go to Crooked Mast. I said the right island this time. Then go around up this path, go up to the skeleton, and then use the reach inside prompt, and you will get Lissetti Spyglass, the second item. This one you will need to finish the mystery. At least I think. I guess if you know where the stuff is, maybe you don't need it, but I'm not sure. Anyway, from here, um, you're going to need to get ready for the long haul. This will take at least an hour. It took me around two, probably, actually. So, so this part takes a long time. You can't server hop. You have to stay on the same server the entire time. So yeah, you ready? <laughs> okay, cool. Here's what you're gonna need to do. You're gonna need to go around to five islands. I'm gonna list them in just a second. And then after that, you're going to need to go to another location, which I don't know how much I should, I'm trying not to spoil anything here. Um, okay, I'll just, I'll just say the locations. You'll need to visit Ashen Reaches, Kraken's Fall, Old Faithful, Wanderer's Refuge, and Smuggler's Bay. I recommend doing it in that order. I think it's the most time efficient one. And then once you've been to all of them and completed the certain things there, you'll need to go to the Shrine of Coral Tomb. So that's that's kind of your voyage there. Okay, makes sense? So we're gonna start with Ashen Reaches. Go to the northwest side of the island. Then climb up onto these rocks here and look down here and you wanna line up the left eye of the spyglass with the barrel here. Pay close attention to where the X is walk over to where the X is, take out any instrument, and then play Ballad of the Myrrh. Once you've played it for a couple seconds, give it like 15, you'll notice this sigil appear on the rock. That means you have done this correctly. So if you see this, this is the Siren King symbol. Once that comes up and goes away, you're good. You leave. Okay, so once you've done that one, you're gonna wanna head up to Kraken's Fall, then go up to the Brazier up here, then look down, you're gonna to wanna to line up the left eye with the Kraken rib cage. Then again, go to where the X is, play Ballad of the Myrrh. And on your left, or I guess it depends on which direction you're looking, over here, there will be a sigil of a trident that will appear. Once this has appeared and gone away, you're good to go to the next island. Then you're gonna to wanna to head up to everyone's favorite island, Old Faithful. Go to the center of the island, I would cannon over there. Then go down this walkway to about here. Look through the spyglass and line up the left eye with this kind of barracks window thingy. Then again, go to where the X is, which is just in front of this rock, play Ballad of the Myrrh until this sigil, the Siren Queen, appears. Once it appears and disappears, you are good to leave. Then head to Wanderer's Refuge, go up to the ruins at the top here, look through the spyglass, line up the left eye socket with the like cave here, then walk down to the X, play Ballad of the Myrrh, and the fan shell sigil will appear on this rock. Then once it does and goes away, you're good to continue. You're gonna wanna go to Smuggler's Bay, then go to the back of the island, find this like little walkway bit, look down, line up the left eye of the spyglass with this rock, go down to the X, play Ballad of the Myrrh, and then another seashell sigil will appear. This one's like a, I don't know what those are called, another seashell. If you've done all five sigils, you're gonna wanna head to the Shrine of Coral Tomb. Now, just quick notes. Those sigils can be done in any order. Uh, they just all have to be done on the same server. So if you get merged during the middle of that, there's a chance you will have to do some of them over again. And you'll know in a second which ones you'll have to do over. So once you get to Coral Tomb, swim down there, and then you're gonna wanna speed run the, uh, the puzzles. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I tried to do this the best take I possibly could, but flick this lever, this lever, this lever, wait a second, then once the big statue's done singing, go this way and flick this lever. Then this lever.
then this lever, then wait for the statue again. Then this lever. And this lever. And that lever. And then that will sing again. Water will rise. Go this way to the newly unlocked area and walk to the end of it. You should see this mural with the five sigils in it. Uh, they should all be lit up. If one of them or multiple of them is not lit up, that means it was not done properly or it got messed up for some reason. So again, they should all be lit up. If they aren't, you're gonna need to go back to those islands and redo them. Then walk up to the mural and the gates will open. Now quick, very, very important note here. The next room is a puzzle room. In that puzzle room, if you fail, it may or may not reset all of the sigils. I say may or may not because the wiki says failing to complete the puzzle and having all players die will mean you have to redo all the sigils. But I died in this room twice and it didn't reset. So I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you how to do the puzzle first, just in case, because you, you don't wanna mess this up. Um, it, would, it could be very bad and then cost you an hour of work. What you're gonna wanna do is as soon as you walk into this room, go to the blue lever on your right, flick it, then go to the pink lever beside it, then go to the orange lever across the room, flick it, and then go to the yellow lever over here and flick it. This room will be full of water probably when you're doing this, but because of my deaths, it made it a little confusing in the footage, so I just recorded it again. Anyway, once you've done this, you're gonna wanna continue to the final room. Once you get to this room, you'll notice a lone music box in the center. You can walk up to this and hit the turn off music box prompt. This will start the final cutscene. So wait till all your crew is here if you're with the crew. Uh, this is the final cutscene. This is the conclusion to the mystery. Um, once you watch this cutscene, you will get the Fallen Sea Dog commendation, which will show up under Bilge Rats and then Mysteries. I'm, I'm gonna play the final sequence here and then that'll be the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll try and submit as soon as I can. If this video was helpful, if you want to make a like, that'd be great. Post see if these guys like this all the time, so subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. I'm, I'm trying to give you a lot of time to click off if you don't want to watch this. Okay, and here is the final cutscene. Here we go. Bye. Soon all shall come to believe that their noble pirate lord is the ruthless killer of his own son. He shall be cast out, and the world above shall descend into chaos. Pirates will no longer pose a threat to my dominion. Enough! You killed my son, took my daughter, and why? All because you wished pirates to witness the wrath of the merciless pirate lord. Your majesty, your wish is my command. No! Dad? You're here. How did you know? The Sea of Thieves faces so many dangers. That is why I came here once before, to seek peace with the Sirens. I asked Amarco to be my envoy, a bridge between the two worlds, but he refused. He chose to depart rather than watch his father make such a foolish mistake. When I let slip that DeMarco was leaving, the Siren Queen saw her chance to discredit me. The logbook. The mutiny. Even if I had spoken out, few would have believed me. The Queen is gone now. People will come to their senses. They'll understand. Perhaps. But that won't bring DeMarco back to us. For that, I have only myself to blame. We mustn't lose hope. DeMarco's soul may still be out there somewhere. I won't rest until I know for sure. That's my girl. Now, 
It's time for us to leave. I've got a lot of explaining to do.